and welcome to How to Set Breakthrough Goals. And uh, this is one of the quick wins from my book. So I hope you enjoy the session today. Um, so the first question really for you is, do you find um, yourself setting goals or setting breakthrough goals and finding that uh, you end up forgetting about them when you get busy with the day to day? Does that ever happen to you? You kind of forget about them. Or do you find yourself setting the same goals over and over again and then finding them written on a piece of paper somewhere and then writing them out again? Is that something that you find yourself um, going through? Or do you find that your goals seem to be um, changing so rapidly that it's almost better just to keep them sitting inside your head and then um, never really write them down? I don't know whether any of those are your challenges. But maybe there are things in your business that are really gonna make a big difference, a uh, big difference to the growth of your business, uh, a big difference to your own personal growth. And there are things that you might want to achieve during this next year and beyond. So to start the session off, I'd like to ask you to share who you are, what your business is, and what your biggest challenge is with setting and achieving goals. So I'd like to start with David. First of all, um, <laughs> I run a training business that I've been running for um, and coaching for about 21 years now. And uh, in normal times, I'm absolutely brilliant at setting goals and achieve loads. I, I have loads of personal ones, loads of work ones. But I must say in the last year, I found it difficult apart from just I've just gone into survival. Um, but actually, because business is going so well, well, it is at the moment, it's going very well at the moment. I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure I'm going to start setting many more goals. I'm just going to keep it going. But I have got a personal goal that I really want to set this year, which I've never done before. And that is to take a week's holiday every month this year. So I, I, as I said, the work ones and everything else, I'm, I'm just cracking on. I, I'm finding it difficult to set goals at the moment. But except for this one personal one, and I've got no other real personal ones because normally I've got loads of events and things to go and do, but nothing's really booked yet. Um, so I guess that's where I'm at at the moment with 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 setting of goals. OK, that's great, David. And then over to Debbie, what um, are your biggest challenges with setting and achieving goals? Hi, yeah. Um, so I am a, a coach for coaches and um, service-based business but a year ago I was um, I run a marketing agency which is very much events-based and as you can imagine during the Covid was not very events-based so I've had to pivot and change my business my goal now is to to just grow that new business and scale that up one of the things that you just mentioned was um, you know about keeping things in your head I am very much a person who likes to keep things in my head but I find that if I write my goals down every day of what I want to achieve for that day and for that week I actually get the goals done whereas if they stay in my head they just get messed up in all the noise mm -hmm. um and on a personal note is literally to give up Friday so I want to by the summer only be working four days a week so that's uh, I'm not sure how achievable that is two Fridays in a row I've managed to get away at two o'clock so I'm working my way hour by hour. That sounds great. Okay. And um, Rhiannon. Hi, I'm Rhiannon. Um, a little bit like David, I run a leadership development and coaching business. My biggest challenge with setting goals, I'll be honest, is keeping, um, keeping my motivation. Uh, if I get set back or not back partway through achieving a goal, my natural reaction is just to always to withdraw and almost kind of lick my wounds. So, yeah, the biggest thing for me is I, I'm very good, I think, at setting or, or um, being clear on what I want to achieve, setting it. But I can get so easily knocked from a confidence perspective that then stops me from uh, seeing that goal through, the, through to the end. Um, my, my most important goal that, that, that I'm trying to achieve at the moment is and then also a little bit like Debbie, trying to kind of re-pivot and refocus my business and move into a new um, niche market for myself. OK, that's great. Thank you. And uh, Nick? You know, I'm always the complicated one. Uh, <laughs> up until March last year, I was running a clinic in London. So I'm a clinical psychologist and research neurologist that I focus on. 
performance enhancement. So we're professional sports people, execs, coaches, what, 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 whatever. And whilst I enjoyed working one-to-one -one and the business was doing well, unfortunately I had to shut the clinic down because it, it, it wasn't working. And so what I decided to do was set myself what I call a huge, a stupidly huge goal. Um, and I'm taking my business online. Uh, in fact, it, I've, I've got my first web, webinar this evening and m most of my market is in the USA. Uh, and my huge goal is to get uh, within 12 months, a thousand students paying $3,000 each. That's $3 million uh, over 12 months. And everything I do is focused totally on that. And so that, that's my, that, that is my really a single huge goal. However, to keep on track, what I do is, and it, it was hard at first, but it, it's become a lot easier in that before I go to sleep every night, I write down six things that I'm going to achieve the following day. And I number them one to six. And I don't start the second one, third one, fourth one, until the first one's done, then the second one, then the third one. And that helps me keep on track with this huge goal. And it stops me from diverting onto, onto other shiny things that catch my, catch my eye. So that, that's me, Jackie. Okay, it sounds like Nick, you're, you're partway through this session. So this session is all about really um, how to set these breakthrough goals. And you mentioned one massive breakthrough goal that um, we can look at for later on as we progress through this session. And then others of you, um, you know, talked about the, the difficulties with pivoting your business and having to set fresh goals. And also sometimes, you know, the sameness of what we've been going through at the moment, uh, David mentioned, you know, this kind of flat line almost feeling that an actual breakthrough goal or something is something new to aspire to. And then Rhiannon said it's one thing setting the goals, but it's another thing actually maintaining that motivation and that confidence, you know, to make sure that you achieve them. So during this session, I'm going to be uh, talking through what a breakthrough goal is and how that's different from, say, an ordinary goal because um, Nick uh, adhered to that real big thing that he wants to achieve with his business that he's put out there. Um, and then also how to maintain your motivation and commitment to those goals, because it's one thing coming up with them, it's another thing actually keeping that motivation and how to kind of keep that commitment and monitor those steps so that at the end of the day, in a year's time, you actually have achieved that goal. OK, so the first thing that uh, I'd like to uh, talk about really is why, you know, why is it that we, we set goals? Why do we bother? You know, why do we kind of set these things for ourselves? And really, a, a goal is um, really that light, isn't it? It's that, that shining light that you're moving towards something, something that um, uh, you really want, something that's connected with the vision or direction within which you're actually going. So I think we all need that light sometimes to move towards something that we aspire to that may be different from what's going on at the moment. And what's the difference between an ordinary goal and a breakthrough goal? What, what is the difference between that, those two things? An ordinary goal might be just something very simple that you want to achieve, but a breakthrough goal is something that's gonna make a massive difference to your business. You know, something that when you achieve it, you you feel like you've broken through and then other things are possible. Do you know what I mean by that? There's quite a big difference between just an ordinary goal or something that's going to actually take you to that next level, something that you really aspire to. And where, you know, where do breakthrough goals actually come from? Um, you know, I work as a, in two, two areas actually, one is as a walking business coach. So I'm often talking to clients about their goals and their breakthrough um, goals that they want to achieve. And quite often where those goals come from is just something very simple that I call a SWOT. You're probably very familiar with a SWOT, which is a real, um, look at what the strengths are in your business, what the weaknesses are, what the opportunities are and what the threats are, because there's no point in a goal coming from just, oh, I don't know, I'll pluck it out of the sky. And I think we've all had those goals, haven't we? We just pluck one out of the sky and we've thought, oh, um, 
you know, that's something I could go towards and then, I don't know, get to the end of the year and find that you haven't done it. it can be quite frustrating. But if you really want something, it should really come out of that SWOT and also your own personal vision for your business and also your purpose, you know, what it is that you want and why you want it. And I'm guessing that um, in a moment, I'm going to be asking you to share one of your goals. Um, you may have half shared it in the introduction, which is great, but you can actually get a chance to articulate that. And we can actually think about, does that feel like a breakthrough if you did achieve it? Because sometimes a breakthrough goal can be a bit scary, like Nick referred to one that he's um, moving towards. And he's kind of put it out there. He's even, he's even shared it in, a, in um, a, an online recording, which is interesting. So he's put it out there. And when you share something and you actually put it out there, it can actually be quite scary because in a funny way then it's like I've got to do it you know I've actually put it out there I've actually committed to it it's not just something that I've got Debbie mentioned the noise in her head you know the kind of something you've got whirring around in your head um, as an idea it's something you've actually put out there so I'd like you to think about three goals that you have for your business for the next year you're not going to have to share all of them but just three goals that are important to you, that potentially come out of the direction that you want to go in over this next year, which of those goals is most important to you and potentially would represent a breakthrough if you achieved it. I'm just very quickly gonna go around and um, ask you to share that goal. It doesn't have to be perfectly formed, it's just, um, what are you thinking when I ask that, ask, ask that question? So um, let's start with um, David. <laughs> you can unmute yourself, David. Okay. Um, well, the, the key thing is for my YouTube channel to actually start driving some really good business leads. Um, and I think that's that's I, I've been dabbling with it and it's been going very well been getting a lot of um, good responses um, but I, I, I need to now take that up a level or two not necessarily to generate income from that I think I'm a way off that but actually to drive better leads um, to to create more interaction and I think that's that's the key thing so if I could set uh, something specific there um, you know to generate five leads a month from my YouTube channel would be wonderful Okay, that's great. Okay, thank you. Hold on to that thought. Debbie, would you like to share one of yours? So one of mine is, as I said, I was a marketing agency um, for like six years last year, and I've changed that into coaching. And the reason I changed that into coaching is because so many people wanted to know how to get leads and get more business into their businesses um, that I decided to start helping people rather than doing it for them uh, like I do with you service so that people could understand the, the basics so I've managed since um, since losing most of my contracts that being locked down last year um, to now to be able to run webinars and lead generation that brings me in 10 grand a month um, and so what I want to do is be able to achieve that for my clients so I want to be able to take my clients on that same journey that they that I've gone on, show them how to do it and show their successes. And I kind of I get a real buzz out of helping other people okay. um, and seeing their successes. So, OK, that's, that's great. OK, have you got a specific number of clients that you'd like to be doing that for? Um, do you know, I haven't thought of it until um, until I heard the thousands thing. I've, so I guess I'm going to go with um, a thousand people. Okay, that's great. Okay, um, Rhiannon, would you like to share one of your goals? Yeah, um, I, I, I think, Debbie, I might want to be talking to you at the end of this course. Sorry, Jackie. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, one of my goals is about creating a systematic business development process and then habits. I will happily say that previously I was probably doing what someone once described to me as random acts of marketing. And that's just not um, bringing me any kind of sustainable pipeline of business where I go from feast to famine, feast to famine. So, yeah, for me, it's about creating a systematic business development process and a set of habits um, that I will adopt. OK, that sounds good. And very quickly, Nick, at the end, share your breakthrough goal. 
Yeah, I, well, I think it is to get a thousand clients in in twelve months, make it uh, for three thousand dollars each, and yeah, it's huge and scary. But I've thought I've in the past if I found I've set goals and yeah, I've passed them, but I wasn't pushing myself hard enough. And in effect, you know, I mentioned before, every night I set myself six tasks for the next day. Those are sort of my mini goals, but the, they all lead to the same 1,000 1, 1, clients. Okay, so just, um, I asked you to share that because I need to try and make a point. I think if you think about that goal that you've just articulated and you think about maybe a time scale within which you would like to achieve it, you know, maybe it's over the next year, maybe it's over six months. I don't know what that time scale is, but you have a time scale for achieving that goal. And you actually start to imagine what it would be like when you have achieved it. So, you know, just for a moment, imagine what it would be like when you have already achieved that goal. How will it actually feel? And what impact potentially would that have on your life and on your business? So I'm not asking you to share what you're thinking, but just asking you to think about that. Because when we set goals, I guess you've got to really feel that um, it will have an impact. And a breakthrough goal is something that you really, really want. And it, and to a certain extent, it needs to be something that's real, doesn't it? It's something that really can happen because you're the one that's going to make the journey to achieve that. You know, when, when, you, when you're setting a breakthrough goal, it, it needs to be that light that you're moving towards. You're absolutely sure that it's just another, not another one of those goals that you're going to write down that you feel you should achieve. It's something that really inspires and set you alive because basically you're going to be needing to, to take those steps towards it. And um, it, a goal needs to turn into reality. So that's me walking uh, one of the routes, the Camino routes to Santiago de Compostela. And that was a big goal of mine. That was a breakthrough goal. I'd never done it before. And I really aspired to be able to walk the distance. And um, I visualized myself actually walking this path before it actually happened. Now, obviously, to, to make any goal happen, we all know this because we're all in business. So we know that we set goals and we, we create a plan and all this kind of thing. And then we kind of move towards it. But actually, this for me was a very big personal goal. And in order to make it happen, a goal needs to be broken down, doesn't it, into, into steps. But not just daily steps, but almost some of these goals that you're setting are quite big. Um, there are different, different uh, descriptions of those goals. Some are, are bigger than others, but it doesn't really matter what the size of the goal is. It actually needs you to think through, well, if that's what I want, what are the things that I would need to focus on over this next year in order to make that happen? So for me, walking this um, Camino route to, to Santiago, before I'd even started to, to you know, get round to making the decision to go. I just had this kind of, yeah, I want to do it. You know, so it was um, a big, huge, humongous breakthrough goal for me on a personal level. But in order to make that happen, you know, there are three things I had to do. And the three things were, I had to, first of all, plan the trip, you know, just like anything in business, you need to plan out the, the way forward. Um, I needed to, to get the gear, didn't I? I need to, um, you know, organise to get all the gear that I needed to take with me. And most importantly, I needed to get fit. So those were three how-tos for me. And each one of those actually needs um, a plan in itself, doesn't it? So in order to get fit enough to walk, um, you know, 500 miles, you know, there's a little bit of a, a journey to that destination. And it's very similar in business, if that's the big goal at the end of it, what are the three things that you would need to focus on in order to make the goals that you've written down, the breakthrough goals happen? So just give that some thought. So the goal that you just articulated, what are the three, the three key things that you would need to focus on to make that a reality? Because sometimes that's the thing that gets forgotten. It sounds crazy, but you set a goal and then you forget to think about well, what are the three things that I need to focus on. And then once you've thought about those three things that you need to focus on, 
uh, could you just start them? Maybe not, you know, because some people, when I work as um, uh, working as a coach, you know, we would have done the swap, we would have created the, the vision and the purpose and the breakthrough goals. And then we'll have broken the goals down into the, the key things that need to be addressed in order to um, make the goal happen. But quite often what I recognize is that quite a lot of the people that I work with haven't really thought through how they're gonna do each of the elements and what's actually involved in each of those elements. You know, and, and for everything, there's usually a strategy. Um, there's usually some thought uh, that goes into it. There's usually some resources. There's usually some time allocation and quite often there's a budget. So it depends what that goal is. And once you've broken it down, what's actually involved in making it happen? Like Nick, um, you know, you mentioned a, a massive goal there and, uh, and also uh, Debbie, there's quite a lot involved in making that happen. You might have started the process, but there's actually steps along the, that pathway to making it happen. So, it, it, you know, you've got to really think through all of those elements so that you can start at the beginning and work your way along that path. And quite often I find that it's never a straight road when you're attempting to achieve a goal. Always there's something comes along to block your path. There may be um, things that take you off track and stop you keeping on that straight path. But if you know actually what that path is in the first place, you can always come back to it. And I think that's really important when you're setting um, breakthrough goals and actually keeping your motivation and uh, your ability to stay focused on it. So um, the question was, you know, how do we how do we stay on track with our goals? How do we maintain confidence? How do we know that we're going to ultimately get there? And I think um, one of the key things that I find is having that review process in place, you know, having a way of actually articulating uh, the steps that you're taking on the, that journey to somebody. Um, some of you are coaches, I'm a coach as well. So um, obviously that's something that we do for other people, but who does it for you or who helps you <laughs> on that journey? Um, because I think um, when I'm talking to my clients and they're reviewing with me, um, you know, the silly things, the little steps that they're taking each month, uh, each week, the things that have um, moved them just a little bit further towards their goal, um, that's very powerful because it keeps your motivation and it keeps your uh, confidence up and it stops you actually going off track because it's so easy to go off track when you're trying to get somewhere but something else comes along and takes you off that journey. So having an accountability buddy, um, if you don't have a coach or having a coach, it's a bit like when I was training to... Um, uh, get do the miles so that I could do the distance on the Camino I had to be pretty disciplined about doing something every day not just when I felt like it and I had to have a routine and I had to monitor my progress so that was really important so that when I kept, got round to actually walking the distance it was easy for me and that's just the same as it would be in your business so I'm going to just quickly summarize what we've covered and then I'm going to ask you to share what the most important takeaway from this session for you has been. And I think we've got about five, four, three or four minutes left. So when you share your takeaway, if you could um, just make it short and succinct, that would be fantastic. So just um, you know, to summarize um, all the points that have been made, so set breakthrough goals, something that's gonna really make a, a big difference in your business, something that you really aspire to and make sure those breakthrough goals really are something that excites you, tests you, and makes you want to make the, the journey. Um, make them very clear and tangible so that you know whether you've achieved them or not. Break that goal down into some key how-to steps and then break it down even further into the mini plan and the strategy and the process you're gonna to use to make sure that you achieve it. Um, put that plan in place and actually get have a way of monitoring progress and checking yourself on the mini got the mini achievements because if it's a huge thing and it's a long distance away 
you can lose, lose sight of it. And definitely have your goal if you're visual, you know, have something visual in front of you that you can see um, that, you know, you can really feel yourself, feel, feel yourself there enjoying it and um, the difference that it will actually make to your life and, and your business. And lo and behold, I'm sure that you will be able to achieve those breakthrough goals. So um, over to you, David, what's the, the, the most inspiring takeaway from this session for you? Well, as you know, last year, last uh, summer, you got me to uh, slow down and go slow to grow, uh, which helped me immensely in last year. And I, I, as I said, normally I'm brilliant at writing loads of goals. And that's one of my old notebooks I've just got out of my drawer. I'm normally all over them. But because of what's happened over the last year, I've just worked and worked and just carried on. Yeah, it's all going well and everything else, but I'm not really going anywhere with it, I guess. So, so I think really... You know, you know, business is good, but now's the time to sort of get the personal goals going, mix it with the business. And I said, you know, a week off a month. I'm starting that next week. Bang. I'm going to do that every every month now. Um, and actually, I did turn some work down for my date in April, not to work during that week. And that that for me is just unheard of. So um, I, I did say to them, I can't do that date, which was very, very rare. So like always, you've got me thinking. So thank you very much. And yeah, I need to, I always used to call them daydreaming moments. I, I need to do a few more of them. Okay. That's great. And um, Debbie. Oh. So for me, I guess it's, um, it's working out a strategy. So to be able to achieve my goal, I need to change my strategy um, to scale at that, that level and to be able to cope with those, that amount of people and not, um, and not be overwhelmed in my own life with it. So to be able to have enough time and energy to, to scale those people. So I just need to look at the, the different ways, but it's actually more achievable than I thought it was as long as, so that's what's inspired me is that it's actually much more achievable than I thought. It just needs a slightly different way of approach. Yeah, absolutely. And um, I think sometimes, you know, when you do have that big thing in the, in the forefront, if you just break it down into those smaller steps, then each month move a little bit further forward to, towards it. That's great. Thank you. Um, Nick. Hi, thanks, Jackie. I think for me, the two, two, two things really is that uh, is being there at the end and putting yourself there, leaving, you know, living it, breathing it, seeing it, tasting it, smelling it is, is massive for me. And I think the other one, which, which you touched on, is putting that commitment out there, you know, to my family, to my friends, to everyone that I know, this is what I am going to do. And then it becomes more about my uh, wanting to do it for them rather than me, uh, which is a change, a, a change from my, my, my approach, which is yeah. why I think I've moved so far in just a couple of months. That sounds great, Nick. Okay. Uh, Rhiannon? Um, it, you've reminded me that um, I probably haven't been focusing enough on me. I can, I can identify these are all the tasks and activities that need to be done, but I fall over because I lose confidence I don't see momentum enough. So to keep me going, you know, what, what, what am I going to do differently me so that I do see and feel momentum? And even if I don't achieve what I, I plan to achieve initially, how do I keep back on track? How do I get back on track and uh, not take it as this complete and utter setback? So I need some, some steps. I need to break down my goals further with actions just about me and my confidence in there. Yeah, no, that's great. And I think sometimes the biggest journeys start with the small steps, don't they? Yeah. So just get out there and think of it like a path. I often think of goals like, like that. I've got a bridge in Wallingford where I live. And um, I often visualise the end goal over the other side of the bridge. And as I'm walking over the bridge, um, visualise what those steps might be. And I think that's a really useful exercise to take yourself through is set the big vision out in front and then think about what those little steps are to go towards that big vision and that big breakthrough goal. So I'd like to thank you all for um, coming to this session and uh, talking about breakthrough goals and I wish you all the success in achieving them. Mm -hmm.